We are paying uh, $595 now. It's going to go lower when Maddie will be hitting the 19 months mark. Um, but it does make quite a difference. A break for parents of young children. As funds from the new federal provincial agreement on child care start to flow, some are calling this a life changer. But some daycare operators are worried that their livelihoods are being put on the line. Sarah Biggs' child care bill has been cut in half from $1,700 a month for her 10 month old to just under $600. There's less stress, I would say, um, just to make sure I meet all my billables and to make sure that I you know, I get enough work on my side. The self-employed working mom of two says this creates so many more options for parents and feels the money she saves each month will benefit everyone. It is money that I can spend on more activities for my kids. It is more money that I can save um, in their education uh, saving accounts. It's just so much more. It's money that I can re-inject in the economy and just, you know, it will allow me to work more, which will let me pay more income tax on the business side. According to the province, parents will pay on average $10 a day if they earn below $120,000, $11 to $17 a day if between $120,000 and $179,000, and about $22 a day for those who are making $180,000 and above. However, this new funding only goes to licensed daycares, leaving private day home providers like Pam out in the cold. We can't compete with it. For 20 years, Pam Thule has been a private day home provider. While she understands the importance of subsidized childcare, she is very concerned for her future as she can't offer subsidized rates. I'm going to be out of business sooner than later because if they can get $10 subsidy down the street, why are they going to come to my house and and pay me my fees monthly. While Pam hasn't lost any business yet, she believes it's just a matter of time. As the positions become more available, I can't see people paying, you know, my monthly fees. Alongside this announcement, the province revealed it is planning to add at least 42,000 new licensed childcare spaces over the next five years. In Calgary, Tara Overholt, City News.